Hey guys, Dpay here, and I actually want to go over a play that the Gladiators did, and it shoes Window Havana play. He has many windows. He has many fantastic windows on Havana, but this one is for shock to get us into Countdown Cup, which we eventually win. We're the best team in this meta in the entire world, and we did a really, really good job as a team understanding what we needed to do here. So this is, you know, we're down 2-1. This is match point for us if we lose. This is last fight. This is a lot of pressure. But our team knows the plan of how to break Havana third point choke. I'm going to show it. But Havana third point choke is so freaking hard to break through. But we find a way. Even though they have great alts on us, it's no problem. We find a way to break through this really, really hard choke. Let me show it first. But we saw how that went for the shock. All comes down to this. One final fight. Super with the supercharger. This should really be an advantage to the shock here. But if Skew just pops his trance and they overwhelm it, it's on the high ground. What do they do here? Yeah, they can't They're trying touch to it. disengage. Nero buys some time with the ice block onto the objective here. Shu has taken so much damage. He's been pushed, pushed down to the low ground. He might be able to get the demon for space. Look at this angle. The unmade so much aggression. So much damage. And the aggression is just enough. Not only do we win, we win overwhelmingly. You'd expect this to be a scrappy fight, you know, because they have defensive advantage. But we win this overwhelmingly. 6-0 wipe them, right? How did we do this? And this is the best part. This strategy works for anything. How do you break a choke in Overwatch? The worst thing that can happen in Overwatch is if you 6-man go down any angle and then you just get shot at from you know, every single angle. I can count four right here if we go down main. Sideshow's plan was not bad. He was saying, you know, maybe we can Zen rush the bongo, but like he said, if it's on high ground, what can we do? What can we do? This is what you need to not happen. How do we break through this choke? The answer is we set up a dive of our own. We set up a pressure of our own to take out their angles, and we come in through many different areas. If they're contesting a lot of different angles, that means there's a free space somewhere. And if you look at this freeze frame right here, this is already showing one of our angles. Our Hanzo is deep on the left side. I think he either climbed through the literal server hole or went all the way coast. I'll show this in-game really quick. But Birdring either went through here or here. And he timed first, meaning that D.Va, someone is going to go look at us. Someone is going to go look at him, which relieves pressure from our main. We don't want to get 6v6 in, in main. We want to relieve some pressure, have some people look at the sides over here. So this is exactly what happens to Choi Obin. Disengage. The other thing that we are doing, this is the obvious angle. So I'll, I'll talk, this is angle number one. Angle number two, you guys cannot see on your screen. This is birdering. Angle number three is Muse and, shoot in, or Muse and Skewed in main. They're both just shooting from main. Our fourth angle is actually Kev underneath. Look at this. What we're gonna do is send a halt, pull, or sorry, a pull, and our Tracer is going to go chase that thing down. He can't actually see what's going on, but he's taking this side because he knows he's not going to enter through main, especially not on Tracer. But even if he wasn't on Tracer, he would still go through this hole most likely. Someone is going through this little connector building, and we're all timing our pressure at the same time. As soon as this D.Va flies away, Shu can fly up here with space and take this space together, and then we're going to 3-2-1 with a halt over here. So we have all our pressures going out around the same time. Nero buys some Beautiful. time with the ice block onto the objective here. Shu has taken so much damage. He's been pushed, pushed down to the low ground. He might be able to get the demon for space. Shock is angle. just confused what is happening. For them, they just got crashed on. They just got dove, essentially, even though we're playing a double shield comp. Right here, it's so important. Birdring is so smart. He times first so that he gets aggro from these guys, and then Shu has way more space. It's important the order of who goes where. You know, or who goes on what timing. So the hit scan sometimes goes first if he wants to bait. Sometimes he goes second. If this was a Kree and he wants a high noon from this angle, maybe he goes second. The D.Va flies this way instead, and then he can shoot them all in the back. So it's going to depend on the situation, depend on the comp. But I will say the big idea is take many, many angles. Because we could be Reinhardt in this comp. Rein versus Rein. And maybe we just send through here, and then we send a Kree flanking here or something like that. It doesn't really matter. We could even send D.Va Lucio Bap up here if we were Rein versus Rein. Even if we're Ball Tracer, again, we're looking for the side no matter what because you don't want to get six looked at on main. 
So the big idea is make sure that we can break chokes together. And this play is such beautiful timing from the team. And yes, yes, we did talk about this. I think as coaches, as a team, we came up with this together. I'm not really sure. I think I came up with the original idea. Like we need, we need to use this door. We need to use this door. But it doesn't really matter. As long as we fill in the details together as a team, that's the most important thing you guys will need to do together uh, on whatever team you are playing on as well. Fill out the details because it's not going to be this comp exactly and it's not going to be this alt state exactly, right? It's not going to be, you know, always this alt, this alt, this alt with OT, you know, two seconds left so we have to stay on card. It's not going to be like that. So talk amongst your team to figure it out. I want to give another example because this is when it looks like a choke but there are so many chokes in Overwatch. This is one more. They, they just kill us. This is the round that stands between them and going to hold so with 50 seconds in the this is actually basically a choke for us they can see us from spawn and they have all this room and really they have their side we have our side and they're just six man looking at us and orissa versus orissa if you're just six man looking at them and then you're attacking into it feels really bad they just break your shield first right you get your cooldowns force first because you know you're just shooting in straight lines so what do we do here I'll, I'll play what we do they have ultimates coming up online they've got to try what and we actually need to do what we actually need to do is make sure we get here with our tracer. This is the side space. This is also a side space, but Nero is on it. Nero is on this flank already. And he actually does big work from here. We can actually see that he does big, big work from here. Treacherous path ahead for them. Boom, Ooh, gets the bongo. That's, That's pretty bad for us. That's one of the ways you break through their choke. You know, all through, all through, and just muscle through. The supercharger removes it instantly, and now we see a bit of a breather. But we can't do it. So what do we do? We reset a little bit, and we get Kev into our position. And then from here, it's almost like we're choked up again. But we're going to 3-2-1 time around the corner, look for a pull, and break through their hold. We're trying to break through their hold by taking this side space, right? The micro disengages. Both of them really don't want to contest or commit into this fight and now the ultimates come again space i want to note the importance of this it's every little bit look at the bap and the zen's attention this guy's looking for a five orb over here bap is actively looking at this tracer if these two guys are looking over here i don't care how good you are you can't have two characters you can't look at two places at once he, they can't look at the tracer on the side and down the middle so we essentially help break the choke. Kev's position right here helps break the choke just because these two guys are now 2v1ing. And what does that mean for our front line? We're in a 5v4 over here. We're in a 5v4 over here. So we actually have enough pressure to break through our main choke. Yeah? And also, Tracer is really great because she's very independent. We'll she can recall. Fight, and now the ultimates come again. And she has a lot of outplay. No more dragon strike. Forward again. again, look. These guys have to look at each other. Look at what's happening to their front line. It's getting shit on in the front line, right? So this fight ends up being very, very clean as well. So, with the stick, it's good timing. so these are different ways to break through chokes. Again, this is just one example with Tracer. The other example was, was with Hanzo on the off angle acting first. It will depend on your comp and you will need to figure that out. But again, this is a fundamental idea to Overwatch. This is the reason, this is how you break chokes. This is how you retake areas where you don't have space at all. You have to find space. You have to create space. You have to create these opportunities on these really, really hard chokes. Shock is one of the best teams in the world at holding space. They're one of the best Arisa teams, I think, as well from last year. But we were just a little bit better, and with these key concepts, you can get a lot, a lot better. And this is why Gladiators came back in this series, woo, and went to Hawaii, and why we were the best team in Countdown Cup as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is one more video on, on fundamentals. Hopefully this one is <laughs> breaks down a play for you guys that was really, really hype, because this play is a great play, but know that it was a team idea, a team reason why Shu is successful. Shu is fantastic. I don't want to take anything away from Shu. His other Havana play against against uh, against uh, Chengdu Hunters, that one's all him. <laughs> you know, there, there's no coach in that. That guy's just a god. But there are team ideas that can really get you far in Overwatch, and this is one of them. Thank you guys for watching.